Hey, I'm Kevin with Ecri, and it's been a while since I've done an install video, and there's been some big changes lately. So today I'm going to show you how we install the Freedom module and the Ecri OBD adapter, and how to use the app all start to finish. We're going to start by installing the Freedom module. The, uh, the Freedom module installs behind the glove box. So the first thing we're going to do is just open it and push up on the top to let this latch out, and this strut's going to fall out. And then once it comes down, it'll just pull out and you can just set it to the side. Once that's out of the way, the next thing we need to do is to unplug the blower motor, which is underneath here. And we will push the tab and unplug it. And then we're going to take the freedom module harness, which has matching plugs, plug it in one end and then plug the other end back into the blower motor where the original plug came out of. And we're going to take the rest of the harness and there's a, a hole that it fits through right here. It'll come up between all these plugs. And then you just plug them in. The green plug goes into the white block in any free spot. And the white plug goes into the green block. And then once that's done, you're ready to plug in the Freedom module, which it only plugs in one way. And then that's fully connected and installed. And then you can secure it out of the way with some wire ties. And once that's secured out of the way, you just need to reinstall the glove box. Just line up the hinges, slide it, and then connect the strut. Now, the important part with connecting the strut is the hub right here that it goes into. If it turns around 180 degrees, it's not going to work right. So make sure it's going the, the same way it came out. And you might have to twist it a little to get it to line up just right. But once it does, it should slide right in, push it up on the top of the tab, and then make sure it opens right. And that's it. The Freedom module is installed. All right, now that we've got the Freedom module installed, we're going to do the OBD adapter and use the app and finish up the install process. So the first thing we're going to do, we'll plug in our OBD adapter here. It's going to light up red. We'll hit the ignition button two times to the run position without touching the brake pedal. And then we'll open up the app. Uh, the app's going to connect to the OBD adapter. The lights on it are going to turn green from red. That means that it's connected. And then the app's going to download all the current vehicle settings. Once it's done, they're all going to show up. You can scroll through everything, see all the current settings that are programmed into your Jeep from the factory, and tap on any of them you want to change. So today we're going to change the start stop, uh, auto start stop which is a feature that's only available if you have our Freedom module installed. So once we have that toggled over to turn on, we're going to hit Write Programming. It's going to confirm the settings that we want. We'll hit Confirm, and it's going to start writing them immediately. You'll see the flat, the dash will flicker. Uh, there will be some beeps and everything along the way as systems reset to adapt with the new programming. And then once it gets to 100%, we'll be able to shut the Jeep down and the new settings will be programmed. All right, so we're, the process is completed, so we need to turn off the ignition. And this is very important. We get a lot of support tickets about this. You need to leave the vehicle with the keys for a few minutes, like at least five minutes, and that's going to let all the modules on the Jeep power down so that whenever they start back up, they'll apply the new settings. If the Jeep doesn't sit long enough, the new settings won't apply, and you might go out, test drive it, check your speedometer, and think, the settings didn't work, nothing changed, and keep making more and more severe changes until you've overcorrected. So it's important to let the vehicle sit for at least five minutes after you've programmed with the keys out of the vehicle. Okay, so our Jeep is sat for a while, so all of our settings should be applied to all the modules. So all we've got to do now is start up the Jeep and make sure everything's working. So when you start the Jeep, everything's going to start up like normal. And for the auto start stop, it's going to take it a, a few seconds to disable because it waits for all the modules to initialize it good general rule of thumb is about the same time that like CarPlay starts working, the auto starts stop with the signal. And you can verify this by looking at the button and the light will be illuminated on it showing that the auto start stop is disabled. If you want to re-enable it manually, you just hit the button on the auto start stop and it will perform just like stop. So that's the entire process of installing and calibrating your Jeep. If you have any questions, go to our website, fill out the form and ask us. We'll be happy to help you either before or after the purchase with any questions you might have.